Coming to you live from the Contaminated Dungeon, it's Max the Animal and Nikki Snacks here on Bagels and Locks. Good morning, good morning, everybody, and welcome to Bagels and Locks. I'm your host, Max the Animal. This is my partner, Nikki Snacks. And as always, every Sunday morning, we're going to be joining you and giving you our best picks for this Sundays or this weekend's NFL game. Yeah, it could include Monday. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It could include Monday. So hours don't, but we're gonna we're gonna start with our our recap from last week's last week's games. And I, you snacks, take it away. I don't. Really yeah, yeah, I got you, Animal. I uh, following a three and a week, I went two and one. Um, picked the Giants with my heart is my only loss. Uh, I didn't have them on my board. But once Animal took his heart and went with the Broncos, I went with the Giants. I was going to be at the game. I was going to be hammered, which I was. Great time. Um, bad pick, but I eat it. We're five and one to start the season, so I'm not. I'm not concerned. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm one and five, but that uh, improvement every week. So listen, Reg- regression pointing up. Week one, zero oh and three. Week two, one and two. This week, what do you think? Two, two and one. Not Animal. I think you're going 3-0. I think I'm going 3-0, too, because these are all locks. And you know what? We're going to switch it up this week. Snacks, I want you to start it off. That's a great idea. I want you to start it off with your pick first because I, it's not been working for me to start first. No, so. you're right. And I, I think, I, I believe in the that that juju, which, by the way, we'll get to later. Um, I believe in the juju switching momentum. So I, I like that idea a lot. So my first lock, 100% guaranteed. It's not really a question. I don't even know why I'm doing this. It's too easy. Houston plus three and a half at uh at the Chargers. The Chargers do not have a home field advantage. They they had a bad week in Detroit last week. They're very banged up in the secondary. Houston's just throwing the ball all over the field. They can't protect Watson, but they're gonna throw because Watson's a goddamn gamer. He's gonna he's gonna run. He's gonna run around the pockets. He's gonna look for DeAndre. He's gonna get DeAndre. He's gonna look for Kenny Stills. He's gonna get Kenny Stills. Will Fuller. He's gonna look for him. He's gonna look for Kiki. He's gonna look for all of them. Plus three and a half to steal. Worst case, Chargers win 26-23. I don't think that's the case. I think Houston wins outright, but I'm taking the three and a half. Houston plus three and a half on the road at the Chargers. They don't have home field. They play in a soccer field. They suck. I hate them. Phillip Rivers could have never made it as a New York Giant. Thank God for Eli. All right, there you have it. So it sounds like Snacks is going to go with the Houston Texans. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Right, listen, I like that pick. I think it's a great pick. I think it's a lock. That's a loss now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give you a pick right now that is guaranteed to win because these are all locks, like we say, and that is the Detroit Lions <laughs> going into Philadelphia. They're going to eat the f- Eagles. Actually, listen, I'm taking the points, plus six, plus six and a half. Not going to win the game. So they probably won't win the game, but they could. But listen, the Philadelphia Eagles have a banged up uh, wide receiver core right now. Yep. It's really going to be the Zach Ertz show. And I don't think Zach Ertz can beat the Lions by himself. No. Nope. So Lions defense is, is being slept on, I think. They they showed a good performance last week. They are away. But I mean, Detroit, Philly, both kind of shitty, you know, Places really, so it's the same. It's not a fa- so, it's not a far trip for Detroit. Yeah, they're not traveling cross country. I feel like the atmosphere is it's the same. Yeah, so I, I agree. They're gonna play. They're gonna be fine. It's basically a home game. For that's them. A, that's a good pick. I'm you not got worried about Malik it. Jackson's out. Jernigan's out. That whole wide receiver's out. Yeah, you're looking at Matt Collins and Nelson Aguilar. Yeah. So and Nelson Aguilar dropped the game winning touchdown last week. So uh, how much faith do we have in him? Animal. I like that pick, and I hope it wins because me too. Um, I don't like the me Eagles. Too. Uh, They'll probably win the game, but if they don't cover the spread, at least it's a small victory for me. My second lock of today's slate, Seattle Seahawks minus four against the New Orleans Saints. Um, Sean Payton's never been a guy I bet against in my life. Um, I've lost money betting against Sean Payton. I will never bet the Saints again. He's got that smug looking face that you want to punch, but that guy could coach football. However, he just said Taysom Hill is going to play, Teddy Bridges. They don't have a quarterback. Seattle's playing lights out right now. And this is their, they're playing home against a team that doesn't have a quarterback. They're all discombobulated. I like the way the Seahawks are rolling right now. I think they're, they could sneak into that, into that favorite for, for home field advantage in the NFC. 
They need wins like this. I think they pound the ball with Chris Carson. Rashad Penny showed us what he can do. Russell Wilson is still elite. I'm taking the quarterback. I'm taking the defense. I'm taking the head coach. All over the Saints this week. Minus four. Lock it the fuck in. Wow. Boom. Right, listen, I like it. I think the Seahawks are rolling. I'm ta- I would, I, it's a momentum pick. I, I couldn't right? agree more, but I wish you wouldn't say that because now I'm on two. No, listen, stop. I'm going to like your picks. and I know, and vice versa. Yeah, it's, it, it's, it's true. I've liked a lot of your picks that you, you've lost by very, very considerable amount of points. It's, it's bad beats, but that's why we do it. Let's we see. study the board. All week, and we come up with our best bets. And you Broncos know what? Was with the save last week, not and the field. They got, they got, they they did cover for the bet, for the bet. So they broke your heart, but they covered. My second lock. This one, it it hurts me a little bit because it's a team I I really don't like. But they cover the spread. They score points, and they're at home. We're talking about Kansas City Chiefs. Baltimore's going into Kansas City. Kansas City is minus six. They're they're gonna win by over a touchdown. I Easily. I think people listen, like, oh, the Ravens defense is tough. Lamar Jackson's playing lights out. We're going to have a real shootout. Listen, probably not. Could be a tight game, except for the fact that Pat Mahomes is a one, one play. It's a touchdown. It's all it takes. It could go punt, 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 touchdown. It's all it takes. So Chiefs defense playing tough, especially at home in Arrowhead, one of the hardest stadiums to play in besides Mile High. And, uh, can what? you not make a fool of yourself slip like that. that, please? I had to slip that in there. I would rather play a mile high than I would in Kansas City. That's a lie. You're an idiot. You wouldn't be able to No, breathe. you're a f***ing idiot. No, I can't breathe. You said the same thing. The reason why the Denver Broncos would beat. You told us on FTP two weeks ago that they would beat Chicago because of the mile high. I thought they were going to win week one, too. So, listen, I obviously don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, but, but it's not just the mile high. Arrowhead Stadium is electric. Listen, the decibels get high. Very high. Gets high up in the decibel. And especially for a big game, they haven't had much competition to begin with, but I like this pick. The Dolphins have, pl- uh, the, the Ravens have played the Dolphins and, and the, the Cardinals. Cardinals. Yeah. They might be the two worst teams in the NFL. So I like that pick a lot. Great. I agree. It's great. All right. Let's just end the show. No, why? Well, I, I don't think we should end the show. I think we should take I feel it. Like to- I have two good picks right now. Let's just end the show. I think, I think what we should do is let our, Subscriber, viewer, pick his lock of the week. All right, fine. That sounds that sounds fair. Let's go to Caleb Malnari for his big dog pick. What's up, snacks? What's up, animal? Lock of the week: The Tampa Bay Buccaneers are favored by six and a half points over the New York Football Giants. Six and a half points is too much to give the Buccaneers. Take the Giants plus six and a half. They're not going to need the points because they're winning outright. Take the Giants money line as well. All right, wow, thanks, Cody. That's a really good oh, pick. Shit, not Cody, Caleb. Thanks, Caleb. That's a really, really good pick. Cody was our week one yeah. guy who lost, um, but we still Yeah, actually, the, the big dogs are, are one and one. They are one and one. Um, Sexy Pats beat Cody, if you want to put it that way. Yeah, no, they're, they're all on the same team. They're all on the same they team. They are all on the same team. Caleb they're... has now joined them on the team. Caleb, so... Caleb, let me tell you something right now. What do you think about that pick, by the way? I feel like that's... Uh... Um, Sunday is going to be one of the most emotional days of my life. And I'm not kidding. I'm going to give a two-second thing. Eli Manning is my Lord and Savior. 26 years old. He's done more for me than my family's done. My girlfriend's done. Anybody in this world has done for me. Eli Manning's done more. I love that guy with every fiber of my body. And I can guarantee you right now, I've already started a will because I don't think I'll probably last much longer. Eli Manning is getting some of my will. It's not much. He already has enough, but he's getting some of it. He did everything. He's a class professional, but I tell you, I'm fucking excited. I'm fucking excited. Hey, listen, it's a new era. It's a new era, and I think Jones brings a little bit more to the table right now. But we'll see. If the defense can cover somebody on third and 17, we'll we'll be lucky. Anyway, um, I think I think I hear something. I think I hear it too. I think I hear something. Uh, yeah, yeah, I do. And it's time for the big lock. Oh it's time for the big locks. Oh I, I, I've been listening to this one. I hate how you beat you. Oh, oh. Let's go high. Look how strong. Oh. Oh. When you go five and one the first two weeks, you get strong.
That explains it. All right. Oh. Woo. All right. So, wow. Snacks, why don't you start us off with your big lock? So, I'm 2-0 on my big lock so far this, this season. You know that. Yeah, congrats. S- say it on the mic. He's 2-0 on his big locks. Hey, and I'm about to go 3 now. And it's going to be very simple. Big Ben Roethlisberger, I don't know. What did he do to his elbow? Who the fuck knows? He probably didn't want to play anymore. I don't blame him. Didn't get drafted by the Giants. Didn't win two Super Bowl MVPs. I get it. However, Mason Rudolph looked very good coming in for Big Ben Roethlisberger. They still have a dynamite team. They have a stout run defense. They have a stout defense overall. I think that defense rallies behind all this news. I think this whole team rallies behind all this news. I think the San Francisco 49ers are the most fraudulent 2-0 team since God's creation. Six and a half points I get with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Please, where do I put my blood on this game? Where do I put my blood? Is there a blood center that will take my blood for a bet? There's not. However... I'm doing it on bagels and locks because this is where you get the biggest winners. And I'm telling you right now, the Pittsburgh Steelers plus six and a half against the San Francisco 49ers. Jimmy Garoppolo is one handsome dude. If I looked like Jimmy Garoppolo, I swear to God, I wouldn't be sitting here next to Animal. But I don't look like that. I look more like Prince Harry, better version. Anyway, I'm taking Pittsburgh plus six and a half behind Mason Rudolph's arm behind James Conner's legs, behind Juju Smith-Schuster's ability to catch the football, behind that run defense, behind the overrated San Francisco 49ers, plus six and a half Pittsburgh Steelers, big lock of the week. Wow, all right. You're not worried at all about Mason Rudolph. That's good to hear. Nope. All right. I don't like that pick. I think you're high. Here's my pick. That's a win. It's not. Here's my pick. It's 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 a big, 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 big lock. Rams minus three at Browns. Listen, Browns suck. They're not good. They stink. They stink. They they be they sure they beat the Jets with Luke Falk. Okay, cool. Then they struggled. They got too. stomped by the Titans. The Rams defense. It's not the best, but it's a pretty good defense. So. Yeah, I'm going to take the, the three points. And the Rams are going to win by 10? Should yeah. I stop predicting the, can you, can you, the amount that they're going to win you by? You said the Saints would win by 20. So, And they, they won by one, and I covered. So why don't you just say it like this? The Rams are going to win the football game by a touchdown. That's it. Rams are going to win by 10. Easily. <laughs> Probably 14. So, fuck you, Snacks. I'm whoa, 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 whoa. I hope to God they win. I can't stand that Cleveland Browns team. I just think that the Browns, listen, they were coming to the season overrated. They showed that they're overrated. We have both said and that. And I just, I'm not buying. Yeah, they're at home. Don't care. The Rams are another team that, like, they don't really have uh, an away home field. Doesn't matter. They just play everywhere. They play good. So, they play well. They play well. We we got proper verbiage here. Um, I You know what? Just bouncing off on that, I I, I like that pick. Um, yeah. The dog pound's going to be rocking, though. They're going to be rocking off a, off, a, off a big win against a, a JV quarterback and a JV team. Hey, listen, if and, a team that's, and a team that, if they convert that fourth and two, it's a one-possession game, or I'm sorry, a two-possession game field goal and touchdown. Well, if, if Odell Beckham doesn't score that, it's a, it's, it's a game. It's a game. Baker, it's not a Baker game, Mayfield has looked It's not a 20-point blowout. Baker Mayfield has looked bad. Can we agree on that? Yes. He's looked very... Yes. But that pass rush for Cleveland has been very, very... Miles yeah, Garrett, Garrett is the real deal. Rams the have a good real line. deal. Not worried about it. Well... I thought you were going to throw yours, too. Listen, <laughs> when you win, you want to do things on your own. Bagels and Locks coming at you every Sunday, 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Please make sure you hit that like button. Please subscribe to the channel. Comment down below some of your big locks. Also, just talk some shit. I'm always down to talk some shit. If you guys want to, you know, listen, I'm one to five. I get it. I deserve it. I can take it. Bring it on. Bring it on. That's a man. 
That's it. Talk Talk to him. Bring it on. And by the way, anytime I saw three comments that say Snacks don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> I'm five and one, motherfucker. So go down below and reverse your comment. Also, we're still looking for a punishment. We're going to decide by week five. So drop your punishment below on who you want to see. Whoever loses the, the, the yearly record for us, we're doing a punishment. Drop it below, and we will consider it for week five. We'll break it down week four, all three of our best options, and we'll decide week five. Boom. That's next week. Bagels and locks, motherfuckers. Pathetic. Bagels and locks.